What's going on, guys? Day 12, coming back at you again. Uh, just uh, chilling in the fishbowl, kind of. Work no, I gave it last week. Working on getting our tank as clear as possible, trying to get it to the best that it can be. We got Matthew working hard over here in the background, making our names look good, getting everything organized. Got anything you want to say, Matthew? No. No? All right. Uh, moving on to demo. Just got a neck. Zach, anything you want to say? No, I got nothing for you guys. Uh, Matt, he's yeah. over there right now, but right now we're testing the nitrite. Nitrate, we're gonna test the pH, ammonia, just make sure everything's set. We need those 12 tests. Uh, uh, okay, Matt, I explained that you're gonna take all those tests. Do you wanna say why? Um, well, that's what Juan the Scientologist said. We need to take all those tests to make sure that the, wa the water in our tank is doing okay. And also because recently the water hasn't the water hasn't been doing that well. So, um, you know, we just want to make sure, as the chemist, that the water is up to date. Chilling. Good Looks good. Looks good. So, uh, walking over, gonna bring it to Mr. Almost. Mr. Almost's daily message. Got anything you want to say to all the viewers? To all the viewers out there, uh, keep working hard for your goals, guys. Don't give up on your dreams. They're all around. All you got to do is pick a dream and follow it. So uh, in here, we got dreams of great tanks, great fish. So keep your heads up, kids. Don't let keep your heads up. Keep your heads up. Thank you, Mr. Almost. You know, uh, beginning of the class, Mr. Almost always told me, you got to have that plan B. And uh, some things in this tank haven't really worked out as we wanted it to. But just keep your head up. You keep working through it. It'll always come out. We'll see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, coming back at you real quick. Uh, the group next to us has a bit of a problem, so Mr. Omos is uh, coming to the rescue right here. There's Eli. Mr. Omos is just talking to him. It smells like really burnt, like I think their heater broke or something, and Mr. Omos is, and Mr. Omos is just uh, giving them some advice. You know, a uh, captain in his duties, man. And you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, it's got a short, so I can't use it anymore. I don't think we need it though, because it's already warmed up. So I think their heater broke, but uh, on that note, we're gonna take it away to Matt. Matt, uh, how's those tests looking? Um, they're looking pretty good. Nit nitrite went pretty well. I'm currently waiting for the nitrate. Yes, they're sticky. Currently waiting for the nitrate to um, go through its cycle, and it should be as low as possible. So if we compare it to the the chart, it is a zero. Close to zero. Yeah, pretty well. I will also have to check the pH and ammonia because last time the pH has been around eight when it should be up here. Between six point five and seven because that is it? Yeah, because uh, I don't know why. For that for that new guinea tank it's gotta be a bit acidic. But uh yeah on uh that note uh we'll come back to you when the tests are done and uh, we'll see you guys then. But I thought you said you needed to take test the uh, nitrite and and nitrate. I did both. You did both? And both of uh, this is zero, so it's it's doing pretty well. Like now I'm gonna have to do one? pH and ammonia. Oh, we'll be back with you with the pH and ammonia test. Guys, our pH. It's 7.4. Just by improving the water. 7.4. All we had to do take 30% of the water out. We took our filter out, cleaned the filter, put some water back in, got our bubbler going, got everything going. Everything is looking good. 7.4. A tiny bit high, but I mean, it was at like 8.8, 8. so we're definitely doing something right. Uh, definitely some good teaching, some good instructions by uh, Juan and Mr. Omos and Mr. Omos. But, uh, what'd you say, Christian? You want some fake wood? No, thank you, Christian. Everything in this is real. Real, real, real. Except for our fake plants. So uh, everything's looking really good. We just need to get those fish, put the fish in. Hopefully everything goes well with the acclimation. But uh, this will be all. And uh, this is Team Calypso signing out.